everybody, it is me Feaser Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 overview slash first impression video. Okay guys, so today we're checking out the third stuff pack for the game, the Sims 4 spooky stuff, which released coincides with Halloween as we all know. Anyway, the Sims 4 spooky stuff is filled with tons of creepy objects and costumes that are perfect for the season. I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys all these stuff over here in the intro screen. All new pumpkin carving station. Carve a pumpkin before, but beware of sims who like to stomp. Ghost sims will even be able to put a candlelit pumpkin on their heads. All new spooky candy balls. See what surprises await for your sims as they take their chance with his mischief mischievous object on the things they will do for a piece of candy. I cannot read right now. Anyway, invite sims over for a spooky party, decorate your sims' homes with a collection of fun decor objects, treat your guests to an eyeball cheese plate, and other new edible delights, and new costumes and makeup. A spooky party is only as good as the sims who show up in costumes. Play dress up from pirates to super loud monsters. There are f there are fun options for your sims, young and old. Okay guys, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into create a sim, and we're gonna be checking out all the new create a sim assets first, and I'll see you guys there in just a second. Alrighty guys, we are back, and I have my get to work household over here, and I'm gonna be using them to showcase to you guys all the different new items that came with the stuff back. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out the hairs for the women first. Uh, Let's see here, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and actually filter this, and uh, yeah, check out all the stuff from Sp There's no hair that came with spooky stuff? Okay, that's a little bit weird. I expected some hairs at least. Okay, never mind. Um, so yeah, but there, it looks like there's a bunch of new hats at least, so let's check out the filter over here okay we have yeah we have a bunch of new hats and stuff okay we have this one witch hat which is great looks very beautiful we have this one pirate hat and then ooh, this is really pretty I really like this Roman warrior type of hat and then these other ones I'm pretty sure are not from the stuff box so I stand corrected I meant there are three hats that came with the stuff back and then um, which is great, at least we have a little bit more variety. None of these hats look like they can be used for every day. So, definitely more towards the costume side and yeah. Anyway, it looks like we have a couple of new accessories. Yeah, we have some necklaces. We have this one um, skull one and then we have another spider necklace, cool cool beans. And then, uh, any new makeups? I don't think we have any new makeups, so let's make sure and filter it really quickly. Oh yeah, we actually have some new face paint! And we have- ooh, this is actually really creepy. This one facial painting. And then we have this very beautiful fairy-themed one, which looks like fairy wings, which is really, really nice, actually. And then let's take that off, because that kind of makes me- yeah, that kind of makes me seem look a little bit creepy. Just saying. Okay, so first thing that I'm actually gonna be looking at are the full body outfits. And by the looks of it, I really, really like what I see so far. Anyway, okay. First outfit is this fairy outfit, which is so gorgeous. I think it is so beautiful. How I wish that this was like a real thing. Here it is, and a different bunch of colors. Very, very beautiful. I love all the different color combinations. This one is more of like a toga Roman style armor, which is very sexy actually. I really, really like it as well. And we have some pirate gear over here. I love the off-shoulder effect and the leather vest. And it looks like we have- okay, this one is definitely for a witch. And once again, very sexy, uh, but I really like the proportions of it. And then we have this one, which is kind of like a zombie slash schoolgirl crossover, which is kind of fun and also kind of sexy as well. I really, really like the vibe of all of these clothes. This one, I can kind of see someone wear on an everyday basis. So just make sure that we filter all the different items. 
so that we know what we're looking at. Okay, so full body outfits, we have five items. For tops, we have... Do we even have tops? That's... Nope, we don't have any tops. I'm pretty sure we also wouldn't have any bottoms. Nope, no bottoms. These things that show up are unlockable with Get to Work. So since I'm using my Get to Work household, that's why these are showing up. I'm pretty sure we might have some new accessories though. So I'm not sure though. Like we'll have to see. Yep, we have some new accessories and most of them are leggings. So this one with hat, which has back details. This really nice one actually that's very festive and colorful. And then we have this one that very clearly matches the fairy aspect. Then we have these ones which glitter like crazy beautiful. And then we have these socks I guess um, that come in this one that has some bat details. And then this ripped one, cocoa cool beans. And then do we have some shoes? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have some shoes. I saw a couple in the trailer so yep okay we have a bunch of shoes actually okay so we have four new shoes we have these pointy slash curvy devil shoes we have these pirate ones of course we have these gladiator shoes which i might even put on my sims on a daily basis if i'm feeling a little bit more risky and then we have these ones which look like they're for pirates as well which is really cute these ones i think are for the witches so cool cool beans awesome and then what else do we have? Um, let's see here. No accessories. Okay, so really quickly, I'm going to go and check out like the clothing costumes for the children. Because I believe they might have... Okay, the kids have one hairstyle and one hat, which is the jack-o'-lantern, which I'm pretty sure applies to everyone. This one is a filter. I mean, this one is... Um, a pirate hat which is yeah it's probably it also came with spooky stuff I'm pretty sure yeah okay and then accessories no accessories makeup yeah they have one makeup which is this really cute one as well really really nice and I love the crown especially so no new tops no new bottoms any full body okay a bunch of full body outfits you have this one pirate one and then this one is a witch outfit. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit different from what you would expect a witch to have, but it's really nice as well. And then we have this one, a skeleton one, which kind of matches with the face paint. And then this beautiful princess one that clearly comes as a set with a crown. And I'm pretty sure we would have some shoes. Because, yeah, okay, they have one pair of boots and a pair of cute little princess themed shoes okay i'm gonna go ahead and put maya back to her young adult self okay so it is time to look at what came for the men in this stuff pack okay i don't expect that much because yeah we didn't see that much for the girls okay the men actually look like they got a bunch more stuff they have this ninja themed headgear once again, with a pirate hat and the gladiator hat. So that's three items for the men. Four hats. Accessories, they have one. No, this is not. Did this came with spooky stuff? I don't think so. And then makeup, we have the face paint, which is really, really creepy and kind of cute as well. I really like how it looks on Jace. And they also have the butterfly fairy makeup for those who are into that. And then moving on to the clothing items, we don't have any tops and bottoms. Pretty sure we have a bunch of new costumes though. We have four costumes as well. The men have the ninja one, which is kind of fun. I really like the look of it actually, it's really hot. I don't know why, but reminds me a lot of Mulan. So that's great. And then we have this pirate outfit. And we have this gladiator outfit, which is also really hot. I love how it's a skirt. <laughs> and then we have this crossover school slash zombie outfit. I'm going to use the gladiator one to check out all the shoes. And we have boots, which I'm pretty sure can be used with the pirate one. Okay, cool, cool beans. That's actually really nice. And then do we have any new accessories? No, we don't. Okay, so 
So far, I'm really impressed. I did not expect the costumes to look this good. I mean, they're really, really good quality clothes, but clearly these clothes are meant to be worn in parties and as costumes. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can see, I went ahead and gave The Sims a makeover. Maya is a witch. Kaylee is a fairy. Venus is a gladiator. Jace is a pirate and Gavin is a ninja. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut into live mode and we're gonna throw a spooky day party and I will see you guys when we get there in just a second. Okay guys? Alrighty guys, we are back in live mode. Oh, ooh, it looks like somebody couldn't wait until the spooky party. So whatever, Venus has her hat on. So anyway, temporarily we're going to be using this house to look at all the different items that came with this stuff pack. Starting with the rooms. And it, I did see one. We might get more. So... Let's just go ahead and filter this thing once again. Okay, we have two new rooms that came with Spooky Day. We have this one, which is kind of a living room type of area that has a bunch of new decorations and stuff. Really, really cool and exciting. And we have this other one, which is a bigger kind of living room area. It looks like we have more space. I love how it also comes with a bunch of new wallpapers and stuff. So that's definitely something to look at. And I am going to go ahead and actually um, save this lot really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually bulldoze this lot so that we have space to just to look at the items. But I did save it on my library so that we can plop it back later on when we need it. So let's go ahead and hop into the items and check out all the different items that came with spooky stuff. Okay, so looks like we have um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27 different items excluding create a sim plus all the rooms. So we have a bunch of cute little sofas really really cute i love the ghost face and then what is this we have the extropic extropic table which i'm pretty sure these are just dining tables what is this is this like an end table or something yep it's an end table and of course we have the quote unquote premium content items which is the what's this thing called again we have the pumpkin carving station and the sugar and spice candy bowl both of which are items that introduce new gameplay options we have some paintings over here that I'm pretty sure change uh, and are dynamic because I did see these in the trailer. The faces change and stuff like that. We have some curtains which are actually quite creepy. And then we have some decorative jack-o'-lanterns I guess. These is, this is really cute. This one is so cute. Then we have a centerpiece item. And then we have a Fright Night rug. How insane is that? I think that's really cool. Does EA own the rights to this? And then we have some cobwebs. Some more cobwebs. We have, oh my gosh. Everybody who has a fear of spiders, I'm pretty sure is scared the daylights out of them by this one. Because this one looks really creepy. It almost looks real. We have a cauldron. We have a new teddy bear for the kids. We have a sprightly and well lit. Oh, these are lights, cool, cool beans. I love how the other one's like, I'm scared. And the other one's like, dude, we're a ghost. We have nothing to be afraid of. We have some tombstones, which are really cute. We have some, what are these? More lights and some more wall lights. And these really cute. Um, sconces as well that look like they're zombie hands yes i'm gonna look at some new um builds by mode items if we have some okay we have some walls actually so i might as well show them to you guys because usually i neglect showing these anyway so we have some cobwebs and we have some very elaborate looking bat patterns if you look at it closely it's actually bats then we have some ghosts, we have some more ghosts which are so cute, and then we have just a wooden 
creepy pattern and we have a floor surprisingly and we have two we have one year rug carpet floor which is amazing because we definitely need some more carpets in the game and we have this wooden floor as well so cool cool beans i'm gonna go ahead and actually mother load our sims and then i'm going to put back the one house that i deleted so that we can throw the spooky part Alrighty guys, it is time to bust out the decorations because we're going to throw ourselves a social event and it's going to be super awesome. We don't know anyone yet, so we would not be able to have any guests, but there's a lot of sims in this household anyway. So yeah, it's going to be an exclusive party to just the family members. So yeah, where's the plan? Plan a social event really quickly and Maya is going to be the host. And it is going to be a spooky party. Be the proprietor of your own spooky party where costumes are de rigueur in a setting rife with frightful decor. Prepare ghoulish gastronomy to satisfy guest cravings while they preoccupy themselves with pumpkin carvings. Those too terrified to help themselves to spooky candy bowl can always ask another party goer for a treat just don't get tricked go level rewards include the super llama costume okay cool cool beans and then the host is gonna be maya guests are gonna be everyone else in this household <laughs> and then caterer we don't need one mixologist we don't need one select a place of course it's gonna be at the calvin residence oh no nope 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 you're gonna change your party costume to change outfit to party can we change to party no i guess not okay so i went through all that oh my gosh he is so so creepy he literally reminds me of that one character from like insidious which is freaking creeping me out so he's gonna be um Let's see here. He's gonna be a pirate. Sorry. She's gonna be a fairy. I'm just gonna put it back to what they used to be. And then she is gonna be a gladiator. Uh, what would the name of that be though? Spartan Hop Type or whatever. Maya is going to, not gonna be Princess Leah, but she is going to be a witch. Where's the witch option? Uh, witch of the woods, witch of the night, or witch of the arachnids. Of course, she's gonna be the witch of the night. And then he is going to be a ninja. Where's the ninja one? Uh, Darth Vader. More choices. Ninja. There we go. Okay, so we have five hours to make this thing awesome. We need to carve some pumpkins and we also need to put out some treats as well. So we are going to purchase some spooky stuff. <laughs> and then I'm going to place this one on the table. The pumpkin carving station. Does this even need, like, I'm not sure if it needs, like, a chair or something, but I'm going to put it outside because it is, like, kind of an outdoor activity. I always see people do this outside anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and actually grab Venus, who coincidentally is an alien. Uh, she's going to carve just a classic one, I guess. Um An orange pumpkin, and what else do they need to do? Ask for party treats. You're gonna ask him for a treat. By the way, the trick or treat option, I believe, is a temporary one. So if you guys haven't updated your game, you will be able to access these for free if you update your game. So, yep. Okay. And yeah, okay. Cool, cool beans. How do we ask? Okay, there we go. We can ask him for a party treat. So it's really fun to have some new interactions while we have a party. And then there is this one jack o' lantern, which she is taking her time to carve that, by the way. So. 
And then we need to dance. Do we have a stereo? No, we don't. Okay. I guess we have to buy one. <laughs> it's in electronics. And yeah, okay, there we go. And I don't think there's like a new spooky radio station, so... Listen to... What would you listen to? Um, let's just listen to Electronica. And it looks like she's done with... Uh, no, she's not. Speed things up a little bit. And I'm gonna use Jace and check out this pumpkin grab a treat option, which... It's either gonna be a trick or a treat. Oh no! <laughs> Creepy. So I guess what interaction you get kind of depends. Because I did see in the trailer that it had like a hand coming out of it and stuff, which is kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. And she's gonna grab a treat as well and see what she gets. Everyone's gonna grab- Ooh, Where's the hand thing? I'm, I'm pretty sure they should- there should be like some kind of a hand thing. Maya, let's see what she's gonna do here. <gasps> yes, it came out. Okay, and does it give them any new moodlets? Yes, it does. A bowl of frights. Trick or treat? Why not both? A trick and treat. Okay, and then, yep. Okay, it's the same one moodlet. I want to see if Venus has a moodlet from carving those pumpkins. And I'm just gonna drag this guy over here. Of course, there's a lot of new other interactions with this. Oh my gosh, it's floating, so that makes things 10 times more creepier. If we actually light this, then um, some ghosts can actually put it on their heads, which I should have made like a ghost sims, but I don't think we have any ghosts in the neighborhood, so... That's that. But anyway, we're gonna try to finish off this party positively. Okay, somebody needs- Okay, she's gonna view the pumpkin that, that she just carved. And then he is going to carve another pumpkin. And it's cockeyed. Sounds creepy. Okay. And then discuss costumes. Yes, okay. These girls over here are going to discuss costumes. Uh, more choices. I love how awkwardly they're dancing yeah. together. Uh, discuss costume. And we might as well compliment her with her costume as well, because she looks really sick, sexy. Just to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer, it is 5 a.m. <laughs> of course, we we live in different time zones. I am uploading this on the day of the release, and that, that explains why I'm a little bit all over the place, because... It's 5 a.m. I woke up at 4 a.m., downloaded this, and hopped right into recording, so... Okay, okay, we also need to carve a bunch of pumpkins as well. It's taking us forever to actually get somewhere. So I'm gonna speed things up here a little bit while waiting for Jace to finish this pumpkin carving that he's doing. I actually really, really like the costumes. I'm really impressed. I want it to be much more critical with this stuff pack, but it's it's going really well actually if you ask me. I'm gonna drag this guy over here as well. I'm glad that ooh it failed it looked like. I I think it actually failed because it didn't it doesn't look like how I feel like it might must have looked like. I don't know. But and we need to perform a couple of mischief things and Gavin I think is totally suited for that because he is a ninja So more choices mischief and he is going to trick her <laughs> This is so fun the release of this is timed perfectly to coincide with Halloween <laughs> That sucked <laughs> <laughs> that barely qualified for a trick though, dude. Seriously, more choices. Uh, mischief. Start preposterous rumor, and also you're gonna do another mischief with her as well. Trick her with hand buzzer. That is a freaking hilarious interaction. Okay, and oh, the guys have some new moodlets. Uh, Gavin has the spooky time shenanigans moodlet. There's 
anything more if there's anything more fun than sharing a joke with someone else it's having fun at their expense oh yeah and then what's this kaylee is criminal presence Ooh, could that sim really be a criminal mastermind what's a sim to do and yeah bowl of frights what else okay i'm looking at people's moodlets and stuff Okay, there is a new moodlet that comes with pumpkin carving. Interesting carving. This pumpkin carving is evocative of the great... Oh my gosh, did you guys just see that? Does that happen at night or something? Because that was really creepy. Anyway, a smashing bash, a fest of frights, guests left gibbering and joy after the evening of mischief and delight the household has been rewarded with a super llama costume that's perfect for the next party or perhaps for just wearing around the house okay so i'm gonna leave that for you guys to discover in your own gameplay because i think we have seen enough to make a conclusion whether this game pa stuff pack is worth it or not okay so in my country the stuff pack retails for 12 us dollars i'm pretty sure it's cheaper for you guys in the states it's probably at around nine dollars for you guys or something like that and in my opinion it is worth it i tried to be very critical of this stuff pack but i think it actually delivers a lot of really awesome and useful things that are accessible regardless of your game plus it adds a lot more character to your sims lives where they get to experience a spooky party once a year so it's really really awesome definitely for me the best part of this stuff pack is the spooky party the premium content items are a little bit underwhelming um spooky party thumbs up and the costumes make up for it as well i think those are the positive things and also the furniture is also really nice. Um, if I were to give this stuff pack a grade out of a 10, I would give it probably an 8. You know, it's nothing too too crazy. If you're not into this kind of thing, then I don't recommend you get it. Because I think, like, I'd, better, I'd rather save the money for get together which has a broader range and more spectrum to explore which unfortunately get together costs like 50 us dollars so if you if you're not interested in spooky stuff then i'd wait until it comes at a cheaper price but if you're definitely into this i highly recommend you guys get it, it takes advantage of the new season which is halloween uh in real life and also kind of coincides with a bunch of new interactions that are exclusively accessible during halloween time for the game so in my opinion 12 dollars makes this completely worth it and i highly recommend it to you guys who are interested so yeah that concludes my quick little overview slash first impression on this third stuff pack for the sims 4 once again please don't forget to hit that like favorite and subscribe button if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining thank you guys so so much for watching you all have an awesome 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 day and i will see you guys next time bye bye